Hi guys, and welcome back to Project Brutus number three. Here we are, we have the two slabs from part one and part two. And today what I am going to do is that I'm going to mark them up and cut them so that I can form an octagon out of them um, that I will be using to attach knives to on the outside. It will be a display. So ta-da! Now you know what Project Brutus is. Get it? Knives, Brutus, et tu, Brutus. So, <clears throat> uh, interesting development, because I got this out of the mold before I poured the second layer. I got a little bit of, <coughs> <clears throat> sorry, I got a little bit of uh, alcohol that got underneath and caused a very soft cure on the back from the, from the new resin that came in with the alcohol. And it's kind of a rubbery texture. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to take my uh, my planer and I'm going to run it through. I'm going to take out a little bit of the bowl with the, at the same time. And uh, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but there are ridges as the other resin came in and hardened weirdly. Even though it's on the back, I don't like to leave it there. Uh, if it would have been just... Uh, just the ridges, it wouldn't be in a problem, but I have those soft rubbery cure on, on certain spots where it was soaking in alcohol. So I want to take that off. So I'm not gonna bore you with the planing process. I'll be right back after I finish. And on the other side, like uh, you will see here on the, on the part one from Project Brutus, we have these little mustaches coming off the sides. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the the Craftsman and <clears throat> I'm going to uh, cut off those mustaches. And then I'm going to take the, <coughs> sorry, the sander and I'm going to sand those off so it's nice and, and, and smooth before I start putting my marks on them. Okay, so see you guys in a bit when I finish those uh, operations. Okay, so here I am. Uh, what I did is that I took the pieces, I protected the front, and then I tried to cut a 22.5 bevel so that I can assemble these in an octagon. The problem is, they, like I said, they have this belly this bowing on the back side because of the mold. And because of that, I couldn't get it perfectly into square. So they don't fit together as, as well as I, as I want to. Even though I, I squared up the, the saw really well, the, the 90 degree cuts went well. But when I tried to do the 22.5, I just practically messed everything up. When it's higher, when it's lower. Um, they, they, they don't click together perfectly. So what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to take a page out of the, uh, quest book again, and I'm going to punch perfection in the face. I'm going to take these, I'm going to put them in the, in the wooden base, like I was planning to in the beginning, but instead of making the wooden base flush, I'm going to make it sit tall. And they are going to implant into the wooden base. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna have to router that, uh, the the channels for it. And they are gonna sit together, still in an octagon, but <coughs> <coughs> sorry again, uh, but they are barely going to touch. So when we are going to have this little gap that uh, appears between them, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to seal it up with, uh, with more resin. And uh, I'm going to make some gold color resin and I'm going to put it between them. And I'm going to let it flow out on the other side. And it's going to look like those uh, Japanese, I can't remember exactly how they're called, 
arts of work when uh, when, when they break something and then they solder it back together with gold. I'm going to make some uh, nice uh, uh, pearl. I'm going to mix it up, some gold, some uh, yellow pearl, and I'm going to pour that in between the the joints and let it soak out and uh, and and basically be really nice. <laughs> So uh, I'm going to use some um, quick set resin for that. And uh, yeah, pro I don't know if I st have time to continue this today. So it looks like there's going to be a Project Bluetooth part four when I get all of these assembled. The part that you see right now, it's the back side because, <clears throat> because like I said, the, the front side of these, I wanted it to be protected so I don't put scratches on them while I'm working on it. Once, it, once it's assembled, I can peel off the tape and then it's going to be nice and, uh, and shiny. So uh, that's it for now. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to keep the internet alive and come see me on the next one. Thanks and bye-bye.